What if I told you that Sony might be on the verge of making one of the boldest, most disruptive moves in its cinema camera history, potentially at the expense of its own FX6 and FX9 lineup? Fresh leaks surrounding the upcoming Sony FX3 II suggest this isn't just another incremental upgrade. Instead, it looks like Sony may be preparing to deliver a camera with features so advanced and a price point so aggressive that it could completely upend the cinema market as we know it. Anonymous industry insiders are hinting at specifications that, on paper, make little sense for the FX32's rumored category. With whispers of a late 2025 announcement, the speculation is growing louder. Is Sony about to intentionally cannibalize its own higher-end models for the sake of dominating the market? Let's dig into everything we know so far about this potential game-changer. The original FX3 carved out a unique identity in Sony's cinema lineup. Compact, lightweight, and optimized for handheld shooting, it quickly became a favorite among documentary filmmakers, indie creators, and even street shooters who wanted cinema-quality performance in a portable package. However, the FX3 wasn't perfect. Thermal limitations during extended high-resolution shooting were a persistent criticism, forcing many users to carefully manage recording times or rely on external cooling rigs. Leaks suggest that the FX3 II is Sony's direct response to those concerns. The body is expected to maintain the iconic boxy, modular form factor that made the FX3 so versatile, but with major internal improvements. Most notably, Sony is rumored to have integrated active cooling systems into the chassis, a design decision aimed at supporting the massive data throughput of next-generation sensors. This would give users the ability to record for longer periods without overheating, something critical for professional shoots. The leaks also point to a focus on connectivity and workflow efficiency. One of the most eye-catching details is the possible inclusion of Wi-Fi 6E. For those unfamiliar, Wi-Fi 6E is the latest advancement in wireless communication technology, capable of faster transfer speeds, lower latency, and more reliable connections in crowded environments. Why does this matter for filmmakers? Imagine shooting on set and instantly pushing massive 6K or 4K files wirelessly to a nearby server, editor, or even directly to the cloud for immediate collaboration. This is the kind of workflow revolution Sony appears to be betting on with the FX3 II, bridging the gap between traditional studio environments and the increasingly mobile, decentralized production workflows of today's creators. At the heart of the FX3 II leaks is its rumored 24-megapixel fully stacked sensor, employing dual-layer transistor technology. This design dramatically increases both light-gathering efficiency and readout speed. In simpler terms, the sensor is expected to be incredibly responsive, capable of delivering breathtaking image quality while avoiding some of the issues that plague other cinema cameras. One of the standout features of this sensor is its triple base ISO system. According to insiders, it could start as low as 800 ISO and stretch up to 25,600 ISO. This configuration has been described as turning the FX3 II into a night specialist camera capable of producing clean, cinematic images in extremely low-light conditions. But it's not just about low-light. Thanks to the stacked architecture, the sensor can reportedly read every pixel simultaneously instead of line by line. That means no more rolling shutter artifacts, those distracting image distortions during fast motion shots. For action sequences, sports, handheld run and gun filmmaking, or drone work, this would be a transformative improvement. The most jaw-dropping detail from the leaks? The FX3 II is said to support 6K open gate recording at 120 frames per second, with no sensor crop. For context, open gate recording uses the entire sensor area, rather than the typical 16, 9 crop most cameras employ. This gives filmmakers maximum flexibility in post-production, especially for projects where multiple aspect ratios or vertical slash horizontal reframing might be required. Combine that with 120 FPS slow motion capture, and you're looking at buttery smooth footage with the full cinematic field of view. Even more impressive, insiders claim the FX3 II can also deliver 4K open gate recording by oversampling from the full 6K sensor. 
This means filmmakers will get sharper, cleaner 4K footage with richer detail and fewer artifacts, a processing technique usually reserved for much more expensive systems. Registration documents and leaks point to a likely announcement window between September and November 2025, strategically timed to hit the pre-holiday season. This could make the FX3 II one of the most important releases of the year, as Sony seeks to capitalize on peak buying interest. That said, there are conflicting reports. Some insiders believe supply chain complications or extended field testing could push the actual market release into early 2026. If true, this wouldn't be the first time Sony has teased a big launch only to delay its shipping schedule. Perhaps the most intriguing piece of the puzzle is the FX3 II's price point. Leaked development notes suggest Sony may take an unusually aggressive approach here, positioning the FX3 II as a market disruptor rather than a premium tier product. The rumored target? Under $4,000. If Sony actually releases the FX3 II at that price, it would be nothing short of seismic. Competing cinema cameras in this spec range often cost significantly more, and even Sony's own FX6 and FX9 models would suddenly look overpriced by comparison. Essentially, Sony would be collapsing its own product hierarchy, offering performance and features normally locked behind $6,000, $12,000 systems in a body that costs less than $4,000. If these leaks prove accurate, the FX3 II could radically reshape the cinema camera landscape. For independent filmmakers, the FX3 II could become the all-in-one dream machine, combining exceptional low-light capabilities, high frame rates, open gate recording, and cutting-edge wireless workflows in a single compact body. But the implications go far beyond independent creators. Sony's decision to potentially undercut its own FX6 and FX9 models would force competitors like Canon, Blackmagic Design, and Panasonic to completely rethink their roadmaps. Imagine Canon trying to justify a $6,000 cinema body when Sony is offering 6K 120fps open gate recording for under $4,000. The ripple effect across the industry could be massive. And let's not forget professionals working in hybrid setups, documentary shooters, YouTubers, small studios, and even event videographers. The FX3 II could offer them everything they need without requiring multiple camera systems. High-end image quality, flexibility in post, cinematic slow motion, and a streamlined wireless workflow, all packed into one rugged box. The Sony FX3 II leaks are almost too good to be true, a 24MP stacked sensor, triple base ISO, 6K open gate at 120fps, Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, and active cooling all in a compact body that could launch for under $4,000. If Sony delivers on even half of these promises, the FX3 II will redefine what filmmakers expect from a compact cinema camera. Whether this camera launches in late 2025 or slips into early 2026, one thing is clear. The FX3 II could mark a turning point for the industry. It threatens to collapse the traditional cinema hierarchy, disrupt pricing strategies, and empower creators with tools once reserved for the elite. So the real question isn't whether the FX3 II will be a success, it's whether you will be ready to grab one before they sell out. Because if these specs hold true, demand is going to be through the roof, 